Good day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rise Wine and Dine. Today in our kitchen we are making partridge berry muffins. The idea of coming home after partridge berry picking and making some gorgeous partridge berry muffins and also partridge berry jam and everything else is partridge berry in the fall of the year was absolutely phenomenal. So today we thought for sure we would share this recipe with you guys and if you're in Newfoundland you definitely want to try our recipe. So for the ingredients today what you'll need to do these partridge berry muffins. You're gonna need some flour, some bacon powder, and some salt, some sugar, milk, vegetable oil, eggs, vanilla, sour cream, and of course our partridge berries. That's all you need to do this recipe. So simple. So the very first thing we're gonna do today is take all of our dry ingredients we're gonna place in our sugar So once we have our sugar in, now we're gonna go ahead with a whisk and we're just gonna whisk the dry ingredients together. Get that all well combined. So for now, we're gonna take our dry ingredients and we're just gonna set it aside. So into another clean, medium-sized bowl, we're gonna go ahead and put our wet ingredients in right now. So in goes our milk, our oil, vegetable oil, our eggs, In goes our vanilla, our sour cream. Next, with our whisk, we're gonna go ahead and take those wet ingredients and we're just gonna whisk them. That should be good right there. So into our flour right now, what we're gonna do is take our parches berries. We're gonna pop these right into our flour. Now with a wooden spoon, you don't want to use a whisk for this part because the whisk is going to get all the berries in stuck inside the whisk. So we'll just take a wooden spoon and we're just going to toss the berries, get them all coated very well. And your mixture should look a little bit like this right now. Can you see? So your berries are coated. Our last step right now, we're going to take our wet ingredients and pour right into our dry. So now we're just going to take our wooden spoon and we're just going to fold the wet into the dry. You don't want to over mix because that's going to give you a not good muffin, not so much. So you just want to fold everything. Try not to burst any of your berries. If you burst your berries, in the end you're going to have like a red dye going through your batter. And I like to just see my berries whole, if possible. So into our very well greased muffin pan right now, we're going to go ahead and just take some uh, quarter cup measures. You can take half cup measures or whatever you think is going to work best for you. I'm taking quarter cup measures and we're just going to fill up each of our muffin cups. And when we get them all done, we're going to come back and show you guys how they look. So as you guys can see, we have our partridge berry muffin batter ready to go into the preheated oven on 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. So when they're done and cool and ready to have a bite into, we're gonna come back and show you guys how they look and have a taste, of course. Stick around. So we're back and our partridge berry muffins are out of the oven and they are cooled. We're definitely gonna go ahead now and have a taste for you guys. Loaded with partridge berries, totally. This is exciting for a new figure girl. Trust me, parches very muffins. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Mm. And there is the memories of childhood for me with parches berries right here in this muffin. Totally. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Mm. So like always, our Partridge Berry Muffin recipe can be found in the description box below this video right here on YouTube. We hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will catch you guys right here next time on Rise, Wine and Dine. Have a great day, everybody. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy.
so tart. Perfect. It's all about the partridge berry, baby. You have to make some partridge berry muffins now. Run along.